Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle ABC along with this uh, line segment uh, CD such that uh, we got this angle uh, BCD equals to 30 degrees. And furthermore, uh, this uh, side length uh, AC is 8 units, whereas uh, this uh, side length uh, BC is 16. And now we are going to find the value of this uh, distance uh, CD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And we want to calculate uh, the area of this uh, triangle ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half time uh, base uh, times height. And in our case, our base is 8 and our height is uh, 16. So let's go ahead and calculate the area of this triangle ABC. So this is going to be a half uh, times uh, base is 8 uh, and height is uh, 16. And if we simplify everything, uh, we are going to get uh, 64 square units. So that's the area of this triangle ABC turns out to be 64. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, bigger uh, triangle ABC equals to area of this uh, triangle uh, ADC plus the area of this another triangle uh, BCD. Let me go ahead and label uh, this area of triangle as uh, a sub 1 and the area of this another triangle as uh, A sub uh, 2. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, equation. We know the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC is uh, 64. So I'm going to replace this one by 64. And we know the area of this uh, triangle uh, ADC is uh, A sub 1. So I'm going to replace it by a sub 1 and then the area of this uh, triangle uh, DBC is uh, A sub 2. So I'm going to replace this one as uh, A sub 2. So therefore our this equation is going to become uh, 64 equal to A sub 1 plus uh, A sub 2. Let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number uh, 1. And now our task is to find the value of this uh, a sub 1 and the value of this area a sub 2 as well. Now let's assume that this uh, distance uh, CD is uh, x uh, units. And furthermore, we know that this whole angle is 90 degrees. This angle is uh, 30 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 60 degrees and here's our next step let's go ahead and calculate the area a sub 1 for this uh, shaded triangle and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times a b times the sine of this angle c as you can see in this uh, diagram we got these two side lengths uh, a and b and the angle uh, c is uh, in between these two side lengths and here in our case, our two side lengths are 8 and x, and the angle between them is 60 degrees. So therefore, the area a sub 1 is going to be equal to a half times 8 times x times sine of 60 degrees. And if we simplify, our a sub 1 is going to be equal to 4x times uh, sine of uh, 60 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area a sub 2 of this uh, another uh, shaded uh, triangle whose uh, side lengths are x uh, and uh, 16 and the angle between them is uh, 30 degrees. So let's go ahead and calculate uh, area a sub 2 is going to be a half uh, times uh, 16 uh, times uh, x times uh, sine of uh, 30 degrees and if we simplify everything uh, our a sub 2 turns out to be 8x uh, times uh, sine of uh, 30 degrees 
So thus we figured out both areas A sub 1 and A sub 2. And now our task is to find the value of this uh, distance x. So let's go ahead and substitute these areas A sub 1 and A sub 2 in this uh, equation 1 now. So therefore our this equation 1 is going to become 4x sine of 60 degrees plus 8x sine of 30 degrees equals to 64. And now we know that our sine of 30 degrees is 1 divided by 2. So I'm going to replace this one by 1 divided by 2. And likewise, sine of 60 degrees is the square root of 3 divided by 2. So I'm going to replace this one by square root of 3 divided by 2 as well. So therefore, our this equation is going to become 4x times the square root of 3 divided by 2 and then plus 8x times 1 divided by 2 equals to 64. So let's go ahead and reduce these things. So this is going to become 2x times the square root of 3 plus this is going to be reduced to 4x equals to 64. Now we can see all these terms are divisible by 2. So I'm going to divide across the board by 2. So therefore we ended up with uh, x times the square root of 3 plus uh, 2 times x equals to 32. And here we can see x uh, is in common. So therefore we can factor out x outside. So we ended up with the 2 plus uh, square root of 3 equals to 32. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 plus uh, square root of 3 to isolate x. And we can see that this uh, cancels out. So therefore our x value turns out to be 32 divided by 2 plus uh, square root of 3. And now we can see we got uh, this uh, radical at the denominator. So therefore we are going to rationalize uh, this uh, denominator. So therefore we are going to multiply and divide by its conjugate uh, 2 minus uh, square root 3 divided by 2 minus uh, square root of 3 as well. And now let's go ahead and multiply this uh, 2 plus square root of 3 times uh, 2 minus square root of 3. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b times uh, a minus b could be written as a square minus b square. We are going to apply it uh, on this uh, denominator. So that is going to give us uh, 2 square minus uh, the square of uh, square root of 3 like this way. So 2 square is 4 minus uh, that is going to give us uh, 3. 4 minus 3 is uh, 1. So therefore the denominator could be simplified to 1. So therefore x value could be written as 32 times 2 minus square root of 3 divided by 1. And that could be simplified to x equals to 32 times 2 minus square root of 3. And this x represents the distance of our this line segment CD. So therefore our CD length turns out to be 32 times 2 minus square root of 3 units and that is approximately equal to 8.6 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.